Hello and welcome to this new section and in this section we will be learning how to build a to-do list application in React. So we have already learned how to build a to-do list application in previous lectures but that was a very basic to-do list application and it was not even functional. Its main purpose was to just go through the concepts which we have learned. But now let's go ahead and try to build a fully fledged to-do list application with all the features like creating a to-do list item, uh, deleting that item, so on and so forth. And also we are going to style this to-do list app as well. So what I have done here is that I've actually created a folder called as to do, which is a blank folder. I have actually created it on my desktop, but you could actually create it anywhere you want. And then you simply have to open up that folder in Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, I've actually opened up that folder here. And now the next thing which we are going to do here is that we are going to open up the terminal by pressing Command J or Control J. And over here, I'll create a brand new React project. So I will say npx create React app. And that's going to be, let's say, to do. Let's call our application as to do itself. So once we go ahead and hit enter, it's actually going to go ahead and create the React app for us. Okay, so once that application is created, let's actually go ahead and perform some cleanup. So the very first thing which I'm going to do here is that I'm going to remove the files which we don't need. So I'll quickly move them to trash and you could even follow the same process. So I'll quickly go ahead and delete these files. And once those files are deleted, you also need to remove the references which we have up inside the app. So I'll also delete app.css. I will delete index.css as well. We don't need that. I will also delete this test file as well. We don't need that. I would delete this as well, which is the CSS file. Let's also delete the rest of the files from here as well. And once we delete them, let's get rid of the references to those files. So I'll get rid of the reference to index. I will also get rid of the reference to web vitals. And then let's also get rid of the web vitals from here as well. Once that thing is done, let's go to app.js. Let's remove the references to these two things. And over here inside this main div, I'll get rid of everything except the main div. Once that thing is done, I'll open up the terminal, cd into the to-do directory, and I would say npm start, which is going to start up our React project. Now, if there are any errors, those errors would be shown up on the web browser. Those errors will be shown up over here. So right now the app would be up and running here. And as you can see right now, we get a blank window. And if we do inspect and if we go to console for now, we don't have any errors. That means we don't have any unnecessary references. Okay, so now once that everything is cleaned up, let's work on creating our React application. So this React application, which is the Tudu application, which we are creating is going to be designed in a component based architecture. So what we will essentially do here is we will break down the entire app into multiple components. So for example, the application is going to have a header, it's going to have a form, it's going to have an input field, it's going to have a to do list that's going to be rendered, so on and so forth. So what we will do here is that we will design this particular application component by component. So first we'll create one component, make it functional, add styling to that component, and only then we will move on to the next component. So the very first component which we will be building is going to be one of the simplest component and that component is going to be nothing but the header of our website. So let's go ahead and start building that. So inside the source folder, I'll create a new folder called as components. And inside the components, I'll create a new file that is going to be header.js. So this is going to be nothing but the main header, which is going to display the title of our application. So from now onwards, let's actually start using uh, ES6 functions over here. So I would say const header as a component. This is going to be an arrow function. And now I'll make this thing return a div. And let's say this thing says something like to do app. So if I go ahead and add this, I need to now export this. So export default header. And now let's make use of this header inside our main file, which is app.js. Let's add this thing up over here. So I would simply say header here. 
and also make sure to import header so I would say import header from components so once that thing is done as you can see it says to do app write up over here however now it looks pretty dull and boring now our job is to go ahead and style this particular component up so in order to style this up we will first go ahead and make use of CSS modules here because they are one of the best approaches to go ahead and add styling to your react components so in order to create that file I'm going to create that file inside the source folder so I will say new file and let's name this thing as style.module.css make sure that you use the .module.css extension and inside this file let's actually style up the header but even before that let's reference this style here and apply some styling to this header so over here to get a reference to style I would say import styles from and here as this particular style module is actually present in a different folder than the components folder I need to go two levels back so I would say dot dot forward slash go to style.module.css and now once we are here the next thing which we need to do is we need to go ahead and add this styles over here so let's go ahead and add the class name here so in order to add the class name I would say class name and let's say I want to say this is going to be equal to styles dot and let's say inside the styles which is the styles module I want to create a new class called as header so I would simply say header up over here and now let's actually create that header over here so in order to style up the header here I would now need to write some CSS code so for the header let's say we want to change the background of that header to royal blue so I would say dot header and then add the background color to royal blue if I do that go back here as you can see that color would be applied over here now let's say I want to set the height of this thing to 50 pixels so here I would say height as 50 pixels now even though if this is CSS I still want to show you guys how this component is going to be styled so after adding height uh, let's increase the font a little bit so let's say font size is going to be 2 ems as you can see the font increased a little bit and now as you can see there's going to be a margin on all the sides so in order to get rid of that margin all across the component you simply have to go ahead and say body and to the main body tag you have to set its margin to zero and as you can see when you set that every gap which we had here previously disappears and now let's set the font color to white so I would say color as white and now let's set the padding to 20 pixels that's going to leave some space from all the sides and now the next thing which we want to do here is that let's say you want to change the font of this thing so we will change the font of the entire body itself so we don't have to repeat it for each other class so I would say font family and I would set it to let's say sans serif so if I do that as you can see our app looks much cleaner and now the header of our application is ready so that means we have created our very first component of our application which is the header component and this is what it looks like so now that we have designed one components in the next lecture let's go ahead and design the form component of our application so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you